in this video we're going to talk about the file structure of a python uh, package so uh, let me open my uh, browser in the previous uh, tutorials i already show you how to create a python package and how to publish the package on pypi and also how to deploy the package automatically using uh, github uh, actions so in the uh, python package we created one called uh, G geo demo uh, you can go to the url uh, or you can go to my github account and so this is the python template that we created right now it does not really provide any uh, real functionality it's just basically just a, a, a toy package a placeholder and later we're going to add uh, functions to this but for today we're going to go through the file structure so what kind of files um are within this package and some of them uh, are required some of those files are optional so when it goes through this and so on uh, on github uh, one way you can go through this is to open the uh, folder one by one and then take a look at what's inside uh, but we are going to use visual studio code so there are two ways you can open the github repo using uh, visual studio code you can either clone this one to your local computer if you are on a new computer you can also use the other way uh, github.com right you just type github and then one is one second so uh, one is.com then just hit enter it will open this one using um, uh, so this one is not provided by our uh, github but it's by uh, open source uh, project but this is a pretty neat project and, and uh, sometimes it, it's much better to navigate the file using this rather than using github okay so all you need to do is to if you navigate to any repo and then just type one uh, s after github and then in enter you split the series and so this is a lot faster if you have a lot of files that you need to navigate through uh, this is way better so you have all the files all at once and for example you can click this you can click apparently you cannot install any uh, extensions uh, because this is just on the web uh, and anytime when you click uh, it's actually retrieve the data directly from uh, github but it's a nice way that you can see this one uh, if you're on a computer that don't um does not have a visual studio call installed so you can still use visual studio call on the web okay so uh, try it out and uh, you might like it next i'm going to show you like how we can use it uh, on a local computer uh, so i'm going to open my visual studio call uh, by default it's going to open the, the the folder that is open last time and so we created a package geo demo uh, this is a file structure and you can just right click uh, open with a uh, code or uh, you can uh, here open by folder then you should have the data uh, the folder structure um, in here and we're going to go through this uh, one by one but before we get into the detail i'd like to recommend a book uh, it's a, a digital uh, book online electronic book so you can go to the website uh, py-pkgs.org I also put the link in the uh, description so i recommend that you uh, go through this this will basically introduce you some of the basics about the python package um, so and today we're going to talk about the python package uh, structure as you can see from this diagram in here so a python package like the, the workflow uh, include uh, include multiple steps we need to develop a source package right and then we can package this one and then distribute so uh, the distribution you can dis distribute to github uh, distribute to ipi or distribute to uh, conda so there are multiple ways you can distribute and then so once it's being published people can uh, install the package using pip install or conda install so this is basically a cycle right you install and then you get some feedback you add more functionality you develop and then you release so just like every uh, software packages you are using on your computer even for visual studio code right it's being recite uh being developed and released new version uh, like um every couple of weeks so this is how it's being uh, uh iterated so and within the package there are a couple of the things that we need to pay attention so the first one is modules and when we talk about a python package what does that really mean what's what exactly is a python package so if you see from the folder structure in here and we have a name right so the name is actually the name of the python uh, package but when the user actually install it does not 
you install everything from here so the most essential um, uh, things within this package actually this one is the same name of your project so it's a kind of a subfolder within a g demo you can also do that uh, in the file browser so if you look at this one this is the folder that actually contains the python scripts there might be multiple ones right now because we uh it's an empty project so we only have one called geo demo but uh as the uh, um, um functions or things you add to the package sometimes you might need multiple modules so for each, each uh, a file it's, it can be called a module and then you can have multiple modules but the most important one that you want this to be treated as a package is that you need to have this one so it's it's uh, underscore underscore uh, init underscore underscore dot py so if you have this file then it's going to be treated as a package rather than as an individual file so this is very important you pretty much you're going to see from this see this from uh all kind of uh, uh packages so for example i can show you the gmap uh, package okay so we go to gmap.org and then click the uh, github again from here you should be able to see this one I'm going to view this one using a VS Code. So one is enter. Then from here, if you click this one, right, GMAP, you also see this one, uh, init uh, .py. But I have a bunch of other uh, uh, modules, right? So we can have as many as you want. So this is everything. Can uh, you want to group all the functions or classes? Uh, belong to the same group to one file and it's basically just better organize your uh, source code so later in this course we're going to add more and more uh, but for now you will just have one um, it's okay so you have this in it and there are two more files that are, are essential so the next one will be the set tab dot py this is basically uh, the metadata of the package and it's telling uh, python like what how to handle how to install uh, what kind of thing also this is for example when you do a set, uh, setting up the, the package these are some of the metadata information like who is the author the contact information and what is about these things we sold up on the pi pi uh, uh um, package uh, website so if you let me go back to the readme right you can you can click the readme you can click go to the uh, repository for example uh, control and then click you, you should be taken to uh, the pi pi website and right now on here uh on the left side here you will see here classifier right develop development status and then license everything it actually comes from here comes from this uh, uh setup.py okay so it's all from here and also uh there's another one setup.cfg this one also contains some metadata information uh, for example the version and we, we use the bump version right so this one you don't want to change you don't want to manually change this file um, but for the setup.py you can indeed change this one if needed um, this is just right now uh, preloaded it, uh, it from the template so uh, you, we, we can change this one later if we want to okay so essentially uh, we have these uh, files and folder so this one will be the key and also the setup.py and these two uh, these are, are required you must have this file but you can also have the other one uh, manifest.in so this one tells uh, 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 python which file to include when you want to uh, distribute this package so when you have to pack up everything um, so let me go back to here right this is what exactly uh, i'm saying if you go to the release history uh, like version 0.02 you can also see this one so there are two files in here so the first one is uh, tadok uh, gz so it's basically a compressed file you can download this one to a computer but there's also another one uh, just like a, a, a build package so this is like a binary one it's already being built anytime when you install a, a package uh, using pip it actually has two step process so the first step is basically you need to build the package and then once it's built then you can install the package technically uh if the package is already being built or you have the source code you might be able to just copy and put into the uh, 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 python installation but usually we don't do that because you might need to deal with uh, the uh, package dependencies so 
uh, if you go to this uh, 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 website in here you will see like you can have a package and this is the simplest one you have a package folder and then you have init uh, beneath that you might have multiple doc py so each one is one module and in order to be a package you must have this one and the init doc uh, py it uh, it can be empty okay it doesn't have to have anything but using the template we create this three in here and this file the version is also being updated automatically uh, using the bump uh, version uh, package so uh, you don't need to actually edit uh, this one and there are two types of uh, packages uh, distribution so source distribution and also uh, built distribution so if you go to here this is what it uh, i meant uh, this is the source this is the built okay so um, people use this one is much faster because it's already being built people just need to uh, install this one but sometimes if you have some packages that uh, has some other dependency for example a c dependency uh, um, c language dependency then uh, user we will need to have um, the compiler actually to compile compile some of the program so uh, if they don't have they won't be able to install so highly recommend that you use this one and these two actually are being uh, provided uh, or built using uh, github actions that I want to show you uh, earlier right so if you come back to here and next let's go go through the file like one by one to see what exactly uh, is file in here what does this mean so the first one here uh, dot uh, github so these are not uh, uh, these are just optional files and what we why we want this is actually to automate the process especially the uh, workflows and uh, this is particularly useful because if you have a package if you you want to include this is basically continuous uh, integration so you want to check that your package can successfully build right otherwise if you introduce some errors and then the user like install they won't be able to install so this is a good way that you uh, automatically check uh, the uh, build status and then if there's any error message you fix it also you can test it on multiple operating systems you can test it on uh, windows and mac and ubuntu is basically linux so right you can test multiple operating systems even if you develop package for example in here in this case we are using windows but when you use github you can test multiple operating systems so you don't have to have actually have to uh, have the uh, uh, multiple operating system so if you go to the github repo and then click uh, actions so here you will see these three workflows so the build workflow and also the do uh, docs basically the documentation um, that we automatically build the website and the pipe here is like when you release a new version it's going to be uh, push to uh, a pipe UI automatically so in that way you don't have to manually do that and this is the website right so as you can see we actually we haven't done anything with the website yet but we already have the url that can up and running you can certainly change the menu you can change everything so those are, are very flexible you can customize uh, and we will uh, we talk about that uh, later in this course so okay so dog github is something related to github only it's not required when you uh, distribute uh, the package this will make our life uh, much easier okay so also issue template right so you have two template in here this is to relate it to here uh, github issues right so by default you're going to have this one uh, enable use when users uh, have any question they can open a new issue here so when you click new issue if you have issue template and then beneath that you have this configuration it will be related to here so if you're using a default one you might not have uh, if you don't use uh, the package template if you uh, create a repo directly from a uh, github you might not see these options so this is how you can customize using the config.yml and then from here you can have multiple but you can also have the uh, two like back report and uh, feature request so if i click this one right and then the user can feed in the information for example what kind of version is using python version operating system description so this is all using uh, markdown you can also uh, has a feature request for example uh, uh, very similar and the, the other three is basically come from this one here so you have three items the name ask questions ideas and also you can uh, redirect this to an external website and so in here 
I think this, you can also go to settings and scroll down. There's one called discussion. So this is a new feature just released uh, uh, last December. So it's a very nice one that you can uh, have some informal discussion. So people, uh, users can ask questions, you can answer, and they can also mark the question as answer. And in that way, they don't have to open an issue, right? Sometimes people just want to ask some uh, general questions. So you can click this one and then say set up uh, discussions and just click start discussion so you can just use the default settings then you have this tab in here discussions if you click uh, on the left side here you have like multiple items so next time when uh, users ask a question when they have like a, they can have a new discussion right and then from here they can select category uh, for example you can if you have any question with uh, this uh, package you can just Q&A and then you can you can type your title and you can have a description and then you can start discussion so uh, i can show you uh, for example for the um the gmap uh, let me see in here for example for the gmap uh, github repository right i also have a discussion here and then you see a lot of people actually ask questions and then you can also mark those as answer right so you can see for example you click this one um and some i can answer uh, other users can also answer uh, any questions uh, they might have uh, you can also open an issue if it's really an issue because sometimes people just uh, have questions it's not really something an issue with the package so it's better to have a discussion in here and then so they can answer uh, directly from here you can also have uh, images you can have a uh, source code so in this way you can engage discussion with the open source uh, community we will talk about this a little bit more later uh, for now just to show you like some of the components that might be useful uh, for your package okay so this is about the dog github um, we would later in this course we will introduce more uh, for now you can use the default one and since we already set up the PyPI uh, automatic uh, deployment so you're good to go uh, you don't actually have to modify anything uh, in here but for the documentation um, also this automatic so we use the so-called MK docs uh, material design so that's why you have this uh, website up and running without having to actually do anything next uh, here uh, built and also uh, library right so this is if you see a uh, gray color you see this like not the uh, white color gray color means this is things going to be ignored you will not this will just live on your local computer it's not being uh, pushed to github so if you come back to our repository uh, here you won't see the build and others right you only have one two three four but if you come back to here right we have a lot more in here so these are being ignored why because we have this one here dot git uh, ignore so if you click this one this one will show you what kind of folders that you want to ignore so later you can also add more folders if you want to ignore more uh, stuff so um, but you can change this one if there's a specific file or extension that you want to ignore you can add them in here so uh, this is a python template so it's auto going to automatically add some of the common one that you want to uh, ignore uh, in some cases you might have a lot of uh, testing files but you don't want to make them public you can create a new one and then just uh, use the dog ignore for example i can just click and then you can say maybe a, a new folder right i can have something maybe a final call uh, private <clears throat> by default you see this is white color so uh is if you once you make changes i can also write it, uh, within here i can create a new file i can maybe just uh, maybe test so uh, py right and once you uh, create a new file on the left here if you click the uh, um, geek extension the source control you will see this one right now is being added so when you when you commit this file is going to be uploaded to github but we don't want it because this is private so all you can do is go to dot get ignore get ignore and then from here i can just come to here enter so i want to actually exclude the entire folder and all you need is just hit private right and then uh, forward slash okay control s and then look at the changes of this one so if i control s now you see this one being changed to gray color so it's no no longer being checked and it's, it's it disappeared from here but we have the new one so don't get ignored 
So now this one is being changed. So in that way, uh, we need to uh, commit this one. So once you commit, then you can put all kind of stuff within the private uh, folder. It won't be uploaded to GitHub. So this gives you some <coughs> uh, privacy. Okay, so uh, also the next one, uh, dist. So this is when we build the package and then it's going to create uh, the source distribution and also the build uh, distribution. This is what I uh, mentioned here on this website, right? Build distribution and source distribution. So let me do it one more time. How you can actually do that, okay? So maybe let me go to here and then go to this. Let me delete all of them. So right now it's empty. So how can we build the package? Um, if you don't remember the command, you can go to the doggy cup workflows pypi look at this one here so basically this is the command line that you need in order to build uh the package so sdist means a source distribution will this, this one is the build distribution so that's why you can build all at once like have two files together all you need to do i come here copy and then you can come to the terminal right click hit enter it's going to build and so now if you see from the this folder in here we have these two files right so if you open the file explorer this is a zip file so you can double click you take a look at the file structure inside the name of the package hyphen and also the the version right if you double click it's going to go inside <clears throat> so these are the files that are being included in the the distribution so once this one is being uh, published to pypi when the user install this package they are going to basically um, decompress this file and then install this data uh, folder structure onto their computer so you will see that you have the folder right and also the folder doc, uh, egg info this one is being automatically created you can also have the license uh, readme requirements and then setup so like i said earlier this one is essential this one and this one also essential others they are optional so you don't really have to include those but how do you actually decide which one to include which one to not include right if you see from the left side here we actually have a lot more files right for example mkdocs.yml and also requirements to underscore uh, dv.txt why that one is not in here so this is being controlled under here manifest.in if you see from these three lines here, include license, right? Include uh, readme, also include uh, requirements.txt. We also have other files, for example, requirements. If you want to also include this one, you can also do that. So uh, I can just add a new line and then I can copy this line here and then underscore, right? DV, you can, you can, you can add any file you want and then control S. So if we rebuild this one again, you should be able to see that right now we, the, the new files being included. You can also exclude, uh, exclude some of the files. So again, I'm going to use this line again, hit enter, uh, rebuild, and let me close, come back to here, open this one again. Hopefully it will be in there. Okay, so now you have this file being included. So this is how you can basically package, is that you want to pack a bunch of files into a zip file. and so we already include this one um, but later in this course i'm going to show you like some of the files for example you might have some data you want to include you can also do that as well okay so this is the source uh, uh distribution you also have the binary so the binary is usually called uh, wheel uh, once you have this one um user users don't have to build the package because it's already being built and then they just need to install okay so uh, it, this is much better but uh, not all the packages that uh, are being provided in this one, but uh, they will always provide the source uh, package. Uh, what else? Okay, distribution and then the documentation. So the documentation, this is everything that you need uh, for the website. And uh, this is what this one is about, right? Because once you have the package, you want to have a nicer documentation and you can control everything from here. All the files, these are using developed using Markdown. So, uh, we will talk about more later in this course but for now you will see here for example index stock empty installation uses and FAQ, uh, faq but you are welcome to create more uh, markdowns and then whatever you put in here you can add this one to mkdocs.yml 
this one controls how your website is going to look like and what kind of extension uh, that you want so for example the site name URL uh, most of the things this you don't need to change one thing that you might want to change is this one so the navigation structure right uh, home installation uses if you go back to the website in here and then let me go here on the left side here okay this one right so if you see the navigation structure this is like one-to-one -one relationship like right? home uh, installation uses contribution faq uh, report api reference and you can change this one if you want okay so later when we have more content we might add a new page we might add some new links um you you, you can modify this one and then just link to the markdown so the markdown we leave within the docs uh, folder but you you change the navigation the menu uh, outside here in this file okay so this is about the documentation about the website and for the x.info this one is automatically generated uh, you don't have to worry about that and the private is the one that we just added so the next one is doing the uh, test this is also a very important for uh, testing uh, because after you view a package you want to test the package make sure that things work it's expected uh, you don't want to develop something that users are going to get the result not uh, what they expect okay so it's better to have something to do the testing so we will spend um, another week later in this course to talk about how we can do the testing uh, for this one it looks pretty much similar to the package in here you, it also has an uh, init.py but it also has a uh, the other one in here so something look like this so um, don't worry too much right now. We will talk about that uh, later. But just let you know, this is for testing. So uh, test the functions, uh, test classes, um, test all kinds of things to make things, uh, make sure that things work as expected. Okay, so we have finished all the folder uh, structure. Then we we'll talk about some of the files. Next one, doc editor uh, conf uh, config. This is basically when we're using the Visual Studio Code, you can make some changes to uh, for the project. So for example. Uh, indentation uh, space uh, something like a uh, license whatever so this one is also you don't need to make any changes uh, sometimes when you edit um, change the settings of visual studio code it might be uh, changed in here so I, I really have to edit this file let me close all of them next one is license so this is uh, uh, a file created when we create a package uh, using the template so because I chose uh, MIT license uh, this is the file that's coming here and you can also find the file uh, within here right um here manifest we will talk about this is how you tell um python when it's building the package what kind of files do you want to include and also exclude mkdocs this one control the website okay uh, control the, the website in here how you how you want the website to look like what kind of extension for example a uh, plugin mk docs and also uh, others you can also do search right in here so we we will spend another week to talk about how to build the uh, documentation and then the readme okay so the readme is the default file being rendered when you push the report to github okay let me refresh looks like this uh, icon is still not there but you check uh, the pi pi i think it's already being uh, rendered so you see this one uh, being downloaded to 258 <coughs> so the readme file is being rendered in here so this is the content comes from the readme when you have a readme.md after you push this one to uh, the package to github it will render that file as the uh, basically the home page so the readme is the home page of, of your repo but you can also have another one uh, it's called index.md so these two files can be the content can be very similar but the file name uh, is different so the index.md is basically the home page um, of your uh, website so if you come to here right, index.md you can also use a readme if you want right so you can just copy and move the file inside the documents folder and then from the mkdocs or ymail you change this one to readme.md uh, either way is fine next one requirements talk uh, underscore development let's talk about this one first requirements talk txt so this is where you put the dependencies of your package right if you have a brand new package if you want to start from scratch 
um, it's fine to you don't have to really have any um, requirements or dependencies but you are trying to build on top of someone else package then you can put uh, the package in here so I can show you for example for the gmap uh, package um, if you see here and then uh, scroll down to find this one this is the list of the dependencies of the package right because gmap is using for example earth engine so you will see here the earth engine uh, package some of them have a required version but for others they will, if you don't specify a version you will just uh, retrieve the latest one so you will see um, the gmap is built on top of a lot of uh, packages so that's why when you use pip install although you only install one package but they install a lot of other dependencies and this is how you can specify here in the requirements.txt so uh, later this uh, uh, in this course uh, we're going to build some uh, functions for this package so we're going to add some dependencies uh, later for now uh, it's empty the other one is uh, underscore uh, dv.txt this one is basically when you are developing uh, and then you will use some of the tools here on your local computer uh, for example bump version uh, also uh, twine so this is the one we used in the previous video uh, to upload the package to PyPI. also the bump version is basically for version control when you're trying to uh, release a new version you can use this one to increase the version number of your uh, package okay and then the last two so okay the last two we already talked about so this one you don't have to modify so this is automatically being uh, update it when you uh, use a bump version to increase and last one this is the metadata of your package okay. so uh, uh, we talk about um, the entire folder structure of the package and just to give you an idea what what exactly is a python package what kind of files you might expect to see and this is because the simple is, is just a, a place for a holder if you want to see more like complicated examples you can go to this say gmap or any other package of you uh you prefer and then it goes to take a look at the structure so this one has more for example you have a code of conduct you can also have a c name so the c name is the domain name uh, you, you can put in the folder and then it's going to be used automatically when you uh, publish the website you can also have other folder for example examples within the example you can also have multiple for example notebooks you will see here i put a lot of uh, noble examples we will talk about this later but just show you that it's very flexible so it's just like within your project folder you can have a bunch of files and depends on what you need uh, you can have multiple folders you can have multiple files but they all serve one purpose is to uh as one component of a package to make your package like uh, more powerful and uh, functional so for example you can uh, click uh, gmap right so like i saw you earlier we have a bunch of files in here and i think this uh pretty much so in the um, next uh, videos we will to start talking about how to add functions to the package so basically we work primarily in here how to add a new module how to add functions how to add uh, classes and variables so they uh, we can build on top of other people's work to provide a, a package that has some real functionality that other people can um, use okay that's all for this video i will see you in the next one take care